Well, welcome back to the shop, everybody, for Friday the uh, 16th here in Texas. Bears Rush, uh, BRS. And we're on the Dodge D250 this morning. And I've got some things to get ready before I get that new condenser in. Put the AC in and new lines. Got the grill out yesterday. Uh, we're going to turn a usable grill into a better grill. I don't know. I bought the truck with this piece missing and may end up after, if I don't paint this, replace this with a parabolic chrome lens or black lens. Your local lumber yard. It's parabolic lens. Everybody knows what's in the ceiling grid under, you know, those uh, two by four big fluorescent lights. Used to use the chrome ones in the street rods. Everybody thought they were stainless steel. Got a lot of winning show cars on the uh, 29 Roadster pickup. Nobody ever picked up on it. And I told a buddy when I sold it to him what I used, he says, there ain't no way. I said, yeah, it's plastic. Y'all keep that in mind. Uh, you, you know, you get a grill knocked out with stainless, then you gotta pull it out and straighten it. Those you throw away, put another parabolic lens in there, go to your next car show, go to your cruise ins, have fun, and cheap. Now, I don't know about today with this new administration, nothing's cheap, but okay. This is one that's gotta be repaired. I'm gonna lay it down here. This one here has a crack. Uh, these are both over on the right hand side. This would be a simple repair. And I'm gonna show you the process. Uh, it's simply, we're gonna heat well, solder this back together. This will, this is a good usable one. I'll do something with that other side over there. But these will, I won't show on the weld in these, but I'm gonna show you a weld here coming up here on this uh, grill. We've got the tab here on the right. When I removed it yesterday, they weren't even attached. They were, the bolt was still attached. But uh, let's get in here a little closer and let's get down to work here. So this one here is gonna get soldered on, on its tab, kinda out of focus here. But while I've got it set up down there where that can't twist two inch clamp is here, let's see if we cannot zoom closer in. And you can see definitely the crack from right here, running down here. Let's see, I already got the old uh, southern iron heated up here about 30 minutes ago, so I wouldn't have to wait around. And let's put some solder. I'm gonna do the top first, then come down in here and button stitch it. And yes, it's gonna to wanna to bleed through some, but not a whole lot. Don't need a filler rod. Drag just like you'd be doing 7018. Heat up one side and then pull that plastic right over on it. I don't know that I've got you a good clear shot. Let's see if we can do this without disturbing or kicking this tripod. Get down here to business. Now, hopefully the cat twist is not in the way. I didn't want to grind off the chrome, but it's going to melt together. We are not going to throw this grill away. It was really usable like it was, but I don't want to go down the road someday, be there at the filling station, and uh, then the old grill will be rattling and loose. Well, just like solder. We're going to cool it off by Texas hot air breath here. Same way we soldered up all the interior trim. Uh, don't be bashful. If your trim's all broke up and before you replace it, just get your good old soldering iron out. Get her good and hot and weld this thing back together. All right, 
Let's let this cool just a minute. Let's take the cat twist off. Well, that soldering iron is nice and toasty this morning. Get it over here out of the way. And you can see we got a well. Let me reach over here. I'd move the camera on the other side, but we'll put a couple of button stitches here. Now this is going to be a lot better because I don't have to mess with the chrome plastic, uh, well I'm going to call it cheap chrome. Nothing cheap about a Dodge. They are good cars, good trucks. But uh, even if it burns and causes that to peel on the other side, it's already peeling off the top. No, I'm not going to drill an apple and put a hole in there. Then use body filler. I'm going to try to salvage this. I'm going to show you this weld here in just a minute. Hang up the soldering iron. Get over here. Alright. Well, there went that piece in the floor. But, I'll get her down here where you can see her. There's the well. If I can turn this around to you. And then I, right now I've got it where I can, I'm all the way up to where I just welded before. Having that can't twist block in there held nice and straight. I am going to come across this weir with a piece of uh, what I call the 300 mile an hour NASCAR tape vinyl. And it will be black carbon fiber, won't take away. Uh, the previous owner had duct tape on here. I don't know why. And then uh, I put some black over the, after I moved his duct tape. This will all clean off. But uh, right here, I am not going to try to go get chrome spray paint and try to blend this in. And same with those ears. Let me get this camera up here and zoom back. Sorry about putting the finger on the camera, but it's the only camera I got is my cell phone. Same way with well knees. Just clean your piece of plastic as good as you can get it. I could go ahead and put acetone. It ain't going to take that film off. I'll come in here and scrape this real good with a sharp razor uh, blade single edge and uh, she's ready to weld on. This is going to be down on the left drivers. But uh, let's see if we can't uh, get this old truck keep some videos coming out. I know I've got a lot of interest on the Dodge Lovers and uh, we're going to walk out here real quick. Hopefully I'll get you a good video of yesterday's activity. When this grill come out and uh, radiator's in real good shape. It is a, a copper radiator and uh, it was flowing good I have no trouble reusing it but I didn't want to take a chance on that evaporative core or these lines and I showed these lines yesterday they all get replaced along with the compressor and everything and uh, so we're looking forward to Monday maybe late Tuesday getting in it's the latest from uh, Rock Auto. I'm not advertising for them. Got four seasons, good stuff. But went ahead and blacked out underneath here uh, while I had a chance. I don't want to look through and see that gold paint through the grill. Yeah, I want it to be black just like the grill. And uh, we hope you uh, D2, well, you Dodge lovers, get back in here where this thing will focus. We'll keep watching our channel. Not only that, other projects, the uh, CJ5, uh, 28 Nash has got to get some attention here soon. And, uh, of course, the Corvette tomorrow will be working, finishing up some uh, carpet and getting ready to put interior in it. Uh, brake lines are all in, everything's done there. 
but uh, we're going to work this weekend probably not non-stop but uh, we're going to work quite a bit between the dodge and then of course right behind me is that uh, we, we won't post this in on the dodge but there's that uh, uh, shop made tools DYI we're going to call this thing the uh, drill tree I don't know give me some comments on that too even here on the uh, four parts that's on the uh, uh, Delta rock wall uh, attachment I show it moving in all different directions actually it's got over five axes uh, of movement and it's going to be very useful so have a good weekend Texas uh, and USA and all my viewers and subscribers I got a lot of Folks around here in Texas uh, kind of watching the channel now. Don't have many subscribers. Sure would love some more subscribers if possible. Some more thumbs up. Some more likes. Please answer comments and uh, we'll answer them in a timely way. And y'all have a super summer and a super weekend. Come back and visit. Bear, we're out.